Did you know you can grow your own bean sprouts using a bag of mung beans from the supermarket? And not only that, but a very small amount of beans grows a lot of bean sprouts. So first off, you wash the beans and soak them overnight in some water. So basically this whole process involves repeatedly washing and draining the beans. So once you soak them overnight, you wash them, you drain them, you pop some cheesecloth or some kitchen towel over the top and put them in a dark place to start sprouting. Then every morning and evening you take them out, take the top off, fill it with water, swish it around, drain it out and pop it back in the cupboard. Pretty quickly within a day or two you start to see it sprouting like this and it just carries on like that. The sprouts continue to get bigger and the beans take up more and more room. So by this point I actually needed to split it into two jars because there were just so many beans. And that's what they look like. You can actually use them like this but I wanted to see what they'd look like after a few more days. And by day five I actually had three jars of bean sprouts. You can eat them raw, but it's recommended for people with lowered immune systems to avoid eating them raw because of the small risk of food poisoning. So I decided to cook mine anyway. I did garlic and spring onions in a pan. And then in with the bean sprouts, which I cooked on their own because I was testing them out, but they would be better with other veg. And I added a bit of soy sauce, sesame oil and brown sugar. And that's it done. What I will say is they're not like bean sprouts you might buy in the supermarket because the beans are still in there, but they're still a really nice fresh vegetable.